Merry Christmas, everyone. I have not posted a single video in the last two months, and I do apologize for that. So, to make it up to you guys during this Christmas uh, holiday, I will be posting a video every single day about something table tennis related. And I will give my tips on how you can improve at these things yourself. Today, we will look at the forehand topspin. Let's go. So, for the forehand topspin, the two most important things are, first of all, the technique that you have here, the way you go when you do the shot. And the second important thing is your footwork or your position to the ball so that you are in the right position to play it the best you can. So those are the things I will focus on in today's video. The first important thing technically with the forehand topspin is that when you play, you want to be quite relaxed in your body until you touch the ball. At this time when you touch the ball, you want to tension up and make sure you get all the acceleration you can so that it looks a little bit like this. I'm quite relaxed. As soon as I hit the ball, I go full. That's where the quality comes from and the spin comes from. And if you don't have that, it's going to be more like this. You need to make sure this, this is very important. Second important thing is when you swing, you don't really want to swing with your arm. Your arm needs to be in the same position all the time. You only want to rotate your body and your arm follows so that you don't play like this. This is not good because you cannot use the body together to get the power that you are capable of. You want to make sure that all of this is working together as one unit. About the position or your footwork, by far the most important thing is that if you are a right-hander, this leg, or if you are a left-hander like myself, this leg. This leg is what is moving you around. This is where everything has to be, uh, be stable. If you look here at my leg, every time I hit the ball, you will see this leg is, is the one uh, dictating my movement. This is where stability comes in. And even when you have to do big movements or short movements, again, this leg, you always need to be in control of the balance and the power and the distribution on this leg. See, this leg is always working. This is where, this is where everything is mixed so easy to play before. And when you have this leg, doing most of the movement and the balance for you. Another thing about positioning is you want to make sure that your weight is forward so that you need to be in a position where if someone came up to you and pushed you, you had the balance and the power and the, the position to actually resist it. Because here you're moving good and you're fast, but if you get up here, here it's not going to be uh, nearly as efficient or quick as if you have the right position. You see, if I play here, it just feels passive, whereas if you have the more aggressive position, you can go in the ball, you can play full power, you can do exactly what you want. And now, my favorite two exercises to actually improve your forehand technique and your stability. First exercise, very simple, two points. Keep playing forehand from forehand, then from middle, then from forehand. It should look something like this. To get the movement, you have to change also timing when the block is coming in a different rhythm, and it's just great overall for exactly what I'm trying to practice right now. And the second exercise is quite similar to the first one, uh, but it's just a more difficult version where they play the ball in this area, like before, but now you don't know where it's coming, so they can play it wherever they want. And it should look something like this. It's much more difficult, but if you can do that, then you already have a good form, because this is a very difficult exercise. 
Let's then say one day you wake up and you have already mastered both of these exercises and you're thinking, ah, it's too easy. I need something more difficult. Do the same exercise, but now make sure that you're in control of the rhythm and you can finish the point whenever you want. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. See you again tomorrow.